So in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is the new DIT Connect from DIT. So the first thing you need to know about the DIT Connect is you have to update the firmware to 1.1 because firmware 1.0 is pretty buggy. All you have to do is download it from their website, put it in a USB thumb drive, use the little converter thing that they provide you in the box with the system, and just plug it in your transmitter and receiver, and you're good to go. However, it took me four different USB thumb drives for my update to work, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you have a couple of them lying around because for some reason, the newer USB thumb drives that I had did not work and I had to find a very old one for the firmware to get updated. Okay, so let's talk about the pros of this system. So one of the things that I really like about this system is that I have everything included in the kit. I have transmitters, receivers, antennas, charger cables, microphones, pretty much everything you can think of except the USB thumb drive. By the way, I forgot about that. It doesn't come with the USB thumb drive. Okay, so the second thing that I really like about this system is probably the reason why I got it. It is a dual channel system. So what does that mean? That means that you can have two transmitter to one receiver. That's fantastic because before I only had one wireless microphone system. So when I was shooting a movie and I had two actors or actresses, they would have to swap out. So one actor would say all their lines, I would record it and they would swap out and they would give the other actor or actresses the microphone and have them say the line. And if I had to record any lines, they would have to swap out back again to the other person. And I know what you're thinking, I should get a shotgun microphone, but when I make movies, it's pretty much just me by myself. So a wireless system just helps out tremendously. So having dual channel, that's gonna help me even more because I can have two transmitters and one receiver. That means I don't have to keep swapping out between talents. I can just have them both mic'd up and I can use one receiver plugged into the camera and that is it. So the next thing I like about this system is the build quality. This thing is made out of aluminum. I think it feels pretty heavy. It's, it has a little bit of weight to it. I like it. If you throw it at somebody, you can probably hurt them pretty bad. It doesn't feel plasticky. It's really nice. Uh, the color is black and yellow, which some people are actually complaining about. But for me, I like black and yellow because it's my favorite color as far as NFL goes with the Steelers. So that color just doesn't bother me at all. Then the next pro that I really like about this system is that the receiver actually controls or can control the transmitters. So you can adjust the uh, microphone output on the receiver to the actual transmitters. Again, if you're by yourself, like I'm pretty much am, I can now control the transmitters using the receiver. I don't have to tell the talent to take this out of their pocket or back pocket or leg or wherever it is so I can finagle with the volumes. I can control it all in the receiver and that is an amazing thing once again. Okay, so last pro is the price point again. Under $700 you get two transmitters, two microphones, one receiver, pretty much everything in one package. Now, like I said earlier, the Sennheiser G3 system that I had for one microphone, one transmitter, that's it. It ran me around $550 a couple of years back. So if you're thinking about getting two of that, pretty much just double it and that's how much it's gonna cost. So for the Dighty Connect, for being under $700 for everything, I think is a steal. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the cons. Now, the first con that I hate about this system is that it times out so quick. Now, I don't know if that's a bug right now, even when changing the timeout setting, it still times out really, really quick because it's trying to save batteries. With that being said, the second con about the system is that it has built-in batteries inside it. It's rechargeable via USB-C. That's gonna be a problem because with the Sennheiser G3, you can just pop some double A's in there and you're good to go. But with this one, you have to charge it. It takes about an hour to charge and 10 hours to use. However, somebody interviewed the creator of this thing and he said that if you unscrew these screws here and open it, there's actually an interchangeable battery inside it. Now, obviously the battery is probably gonna come from the manufacturer themselves, so we're gonna have to find out how much that costs. But he said that the batteries here, you can change yourself in the future by just unscrewing a couple of screws. So that's good news if you're really worried about the built-in battery dying or something like that. He said you can replace it in the future. So the next con for this system is that it uses 2.4 gigahertz signal. 
and not the traditional UHF. So what does that mean? If you're familiar with Wi-Fi, that uses 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, whatever, but usually, most likely in your neighborhood or in your house, you have a lot of 2.4 gigahertz devices. So that means that you might have issues as far as interference with this thing. Now the system itself has something called uh, signal hopping. Pretty much it looks for the best signal for you uh, as much as possible. But if you're living in a big city with plenty of Wi-Fi and 2.4 gigahertz devices, you might have an issue and you definitely wanna test that out before you go out and shoot something very important. But for me living in here, uh, in a residential place, recording videos here, somewhere sometimes at the park, I really am not worried about the interference as far as 2.4 gigahertz goes. All right guys, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. The Daiti Connect so far is an amazing dual channel system. It's pretty cool aside for some of the cons that I gave you guys. I think it's gonna be a really good system, especially looking forward. This is just their first version. Uh, maybe in the future versions, they can even improve it a little bit better, but so far so good. And I'm gonna update you guys about this microphone system later on. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you later.